and welcome to episode 16 of the H-Bomb and J-Rock unboxing show. I'm Henry H-Bomb Higgins and absent this week is J-Rock, Josh, my 10 year old son. Uh, he is with his mother this weekend, uh, so I'm flying solo. And because of that, we're going to go back to something that was a big part of my childhood, although this is the movie reboot. It's the A-Team. And looking at this, we have four figures from the selection that was released when the movie came out. And it is the main protagonists, Hannibal, B.A., Face and Murdoch, played by Liam Neeson, uh, Bradley Cooper, Charlotte Copley, and uh, Rampage Jackson. So, without any further ado, let's just get into them. They come in relatively easy to open. A clamshell. A lovely big A that comes with it there, so that could be positioned behind them to give them a little bit of a background. And the figures themselves are about three and a half inches tall. This is Murdoch, and I will imagine they will all have the same level of articulation which is quite detailed considering the smallness of the thing um, so they have articulation in the knee articulation in ankles wrist, arms, elbows, shoulders, neck uh, quite a lot of mobility for such a small figure and yeah it looks relatively like Charlotte Copley from the movie it comes with two accessories. Which is an assault rifle. And a handgun. Now this seems to be the default for all of the figures. So what we will do here. Oops, excuse me. Simply unbox the figures. Now they all come with the same A. Again, this is a little three and a half inch Bradley Cooper there. Who also comes with a handgun and an assault rifle. Seems to be the same handgun and assault rifle that Charlotte Copley has. Oh, they also have, which I noticed here as well, which is a little name and faceplate. So, yeah, that could be very useful for display purposes. Let me get some salvage more dots from here. On the back of the packs, it also has a little blurb, as you can see there, in relation to the movie. Obviously it was updated from the original TV series, which was set uh, after the Vietnam War. And as it says, in 2003, an elite special op unit was sent to prison by a military court for a crime they did not commit. These men promptly escaped from the maximum security stockades to the LA underground. Today, still wanted by the government, they survive as soldiers of fortune. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can call the A-Team. Now that is a takeoff of the TV shows opening. And this is Hannibal. And a decent likeness of... Liam Neeson from the movie. And 
again, yes, the articulation is the same on all of them. He's, this figure seems to be a bit looser than the other one. Uh, the other two. And yeah, it's a decent likeness of Liam Neeson um, from the movie. Taking on the role from the late great George Pippard, who was fantastic in the role of Hannibal, but from any uh, report are to be believed he was not a very nice person to work with. Uh, that obviously conjecture, and the man himself isn't here to defend himself. Hannibal comes with the same handgun as all the rest. However, his assault rifle is while it's a completely different model actually and it's a different colour so there we go his is a little you can't really see it there you can see it better there now his is a little silver and blue and uh, brown jolly that's Hannibal the leader of the A-team who loves it when a plan comes together And lastly, probably the most iconic role in the TV show, B.A. Barakis, uh, played wonderfully by Mr. T in the movie, uh, in the TV show, sorry, and portrayed in the film by Rampage Jackson. And is another good quality figure. Looks just like the TV, uh, the movie character. Also, tattoos are resplendent. You can make out some detail on there, uh, but again, obviously, with it being a three and a half inch figure, not most amazing level of detail. But as I got these from Pound Stretcher, actually. Um, occasionally, you go into a pound stretcher, they'll have some action figures hanging. Um, in the collection, there's a lot of Tron legacy figures. They all came from pound stretcher for like £2 each. These were one ninety nine from pound stretcher. And BA comes with the same rifle and on, as the other three. So Hannibal is the only one who gets special treatment there. And... Again, this is a wonderful quality piece. Uh, again, consider them as a three and a half inch figure. Uh, I know I keep mentioning that, but generally speaking, the smaller the figure, the less detail you expect. Uh, so for that reasoning, with this being a one ninety nine per figure collection, uh, it must be said I'm very impressed. A lot of articulation, so plenty of posability there with the figures. Um, same weapon each. So again, the part of a military unit, so it's expected they would have some uniformity as well. But yeah, very, very happy with those figures. Very, very happy with the little backdrops that you can see from there. Uh, there will be some pictures, as normal, at the end of the episode. And thank you very much for watching. This has been H-Bomb doing the A-Team. Probably the only place to get these now is either Amazon or eBay. Uh, but have a look for them. They are decent quality figures, especially for the size. And next week, J-Rock will return. It will either be a special with the Spider-Man figures that we discussed last week. Or we are should be in possession of a Z-Box. Uh, between this weekend and next weekend so if the Z box is here we will do that if not we will do the ultimate goblin builder figure with the spider-man figures so thank you very much for watching thank you very much for taking the time to go through this with me and helping the channel grow thank you very much for sticking with it please share the video like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already tell your friends about it get them to like and subscribe we will grow this up and with Halloween coming up, there will be a Halloween special with a little detail of the horror figures that are in the collection. And with Christmas coming up, 
relatively soon, less than three months now, there will also be a special prize episode at the end of November where there will be a competition, details to come, where there will be a prize for someone, some lucky winner. So look forward to that. Thank you very much for watching and we're out. Ten years ago, a crack commando unit was sent to prison by a military court for a crime they didn't commit. These men promptly escaped from maximum security stockade to the Los Angeles underground. Today, still wanted by the government, they survive as soldiers of fortune. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the A-Team.